Hello friends, uh, I'd like to prepare a, a valid level kind of step-by-step -step design tutorial. This tutorial will provide uh, information to determine water flow rate required in the canal. Section 1 to 3 will cover this issue. Guidelines uh, for geographical placement of the canal or topographic data uh, that uh, will be covered within section 4 are a simple way to calculate dimensions for the final design of the canal and this will be discussed in section 5. Section 6 uh, is a practical example and also we will have uh, a step-by-step -step canal design in civil 3D. Section 1, crop water requirement. General, this section will provide a simple method using the crop evapotranspiration formula to calculate the water requirements. Key concepts in this section are evapotranspiration, reference crop, crop fact. Evapotranspiration, all plants require soil, air, sunlight, and water to grow. All of these factors are related. This section will only focus on water supply, which is obtained from irrigation systems and rainfall. Crops drink up water from the moment of planting until the time uh, of harvest. The loss of water which is given off through the surface of the plant is called perspiration. At the same time, the interaction of sunlight and air on the surface of water or soil absorbs moisture. This reduction of moisture or water is called evaporation. These two losses of water which last through the growing season of the crop is called evapotranspiration. Basic ways are which what was provided to wood soon. Transpiration. Transpiration. Transpiration plus evaporation, evaporation and transpiration. Both equals to evapotranspiration. Definition Evapotranspiration is the quantity of water transpired by the crop plus moisture of water. Evaporate, evaporated directly from the soil in which the crop is grown. It's expressed as a depth of water which is measured at rates of mm per day for any given area. The importance of the evapotranspiration concept. In order to calculate the proper flow rate capacity of a vision canal or discharge, where here is the quantity of required canal water flow in cubic meter per second. We need to know and understand the term evapotranspiration. Three factors influencing evapotranspiration. Weather, types of crop, and duration and growth states. Weather is a major determinant of the rate of evapotranspiration. The key elements are temperature, wind speed, and cloud cover. Evapotranspiration takes place at a lower rate on cold, cloudy, and calm days. Whereas on hot, sunny, and windy days, the rate is higher. Types of crop Each type of crop needs a particular amount of water every day. Various factors contribute to the differences between crop water requirements. Plants have different leaf structure, generally. The larger leaf structure, the bigger the daily water need. And different plants also have different growing season durations. The higher the duration, the higher the season of the water need. Evapotranspiration takes place at a lower rate on cold, cloudy, and calm days. Whereas on hot, sunny, and wet days, the rate is higher. Leaf structure versus daily water need. Duration of growing season versus total seasonal water need. Note, data on the duration of the growing season of various main crop is given in table 1 1.
Tupelo Y1, length of growing season, development stage and days for various crops and their varieties. Crops and varieties, for example, like wheat, barley, cotton, corn, tomato, up to potato. The lengths of growing seasons are listed below in this column, the minimum and maximum. From planting stage to harvest stage. So, from planting stage, for example, for the wheat, 15 plus 25 plus 50 plus 30 equals to 120 or 120 days, measuring crop evapotranspiration. Having outlined the major factors that influence evapotranspiration, it is now necessary to explain how to make the required measurements. First of all, crop evapotranspiration is defined as the evapotranspiration of a particular crop. For example, cotton, wheat, rice. The crop evapotranspiration may be calculated by using the following formula, where AT crop equals or is evapotranspiration of a crop, ATO reference crop evapotranspiration, and Cassie's crop factor, ETO as a reference crop. As a standard, a crop requirement given for a reference crop normally refers to short, green, healthy grass, which fully covers the ground surface. The reference crop water requirement is not influenced by its growth stage. To calculate the crop water requirement, or ETO, for the reference crop, the blending gradual method will be used. The correct formula for this method is as follows. We are ETO is reference crop of transpiration for the grass. B is the mean daily percentage of total daytime hours. T equals mean daily temperature and degree centigrade. Mean daily percentage P of annual daytime hours for the northern and southern latitude is 0.29. This equation is Zaraj. For example, Calculating mean daily temperature in degree centigrade and calculating the reference crop evapotranspiration. We do this example through three steps. First, we record the maximum and minimum temperature for a given amount. For example, April. In April, in uh, this location, which is Zaranj, and in northern latitude, which was 35, from 1 day 1 up to 33, we record the maximum and minimum. Uh, temperatures. In step 2, we find and calculate the mean of both the maximum temperature and minimum te temperature. For example, sum of the max, maximum T, the maximum temperature is uh, this figure, and it means we add all this and divide by 31, we uh, get uh, 36.61 uh, degree centigrade. And the same do uh, in with the minimum temperature, uh, we get 25.05 centigrade. And step three, we add the mean uh, temperature maximum and mean temperature minima. 36.61 and 25.05 and divide by 2 to get the mean temperature for the month April and location Zaranj, what is the northern uh, latitude 35 degree. So the problem uh, could be solved such like that at Zaranj, Nimrus uh, 35 northern latitude, we uh, use the uh, Blani Cradle method for the uh, month April, this is not much, sorry. Uh, and find the, uh, the evapotranspiration in millimeter per day. Uh, so given is P0.29 uh, from table uh, 1, 2 for April and the uh, northern latitude 35, this location is uh, Zaranj, uh, um, location in Afghanistan, uh, it's uh, 0 0.29. And uh, from work example uh, 101, uh, T, uh, the mean uh, temperature for the month 
April in the application equals to 30.83. So we solve the blended cradle uh, formula and we get the reference crop uh, as uh, 6.43 millimeter per day. Crop factor. There is a mathematical relationship between the different states of crop and the reference crop. This is called crop factor. The crop factor for main crops at their different growth stages are given in the following table. In this table, for uh, different uh, various crops types, we have uh, different uh, uh, growth stages, which start from planting up to harvest, uh, harvest stage. We have uh, uh, different uh, crop factors. As we uh, see that in the flowering stage, uh, the crop factor uh, amount is uh, higher than others. Uh, 1.15, 1.15. Uh, that uh, it could be considered as a rule of thumb in further calculations due to irregular planting schedules and the variety, large variety of crops. So in this part, we uh, summarize the whole section uh, from start up end that what uh, we uh, meet by all this discussion and which point to be are focusing on for further calculations and design stage. We wanted to find the evil transpiration of a peak crop, for example, car. So, the evil transpiration of crop equals to uh, reference crop multiplied by crop factor. Uh, reference crops equals to uh, a daily percentage of uh, uh, annual uh, day time. Uh, multiplied by uh, 0 0.4 uh, times uh, mean temperature of the uh, maximum and minimum temperatures within the whole month uh, plus it. And the result of this uh, uh, operation we get uh, uh, 7. Point uh, 3945 or 7.4 um, mm per day. Uh, this is, uh, for example, peak crop uh, evil transpiration consider in a further design steps. This is my first video in order to prepare other uh, good and best quality uh, training videos. Uh, you will construct your comments are highly appreciated. Thanks so much.